Hi everybody, I'm going to talk today about a hot topic, which is breast cancer. This is very high profile topic that really interests everybody and uh, especially women, of course. Uh, women always uh, are fearful whenever they, fe they feel uh, something abnormal in, in her breast. Any woman will be really uh, scared uh, when she ha has a lump in her breast. Uh, this is very important uh, thing to uh, really uh, make the woman aware uh, that uh, not every lump in the breast means uh, cancer. Most of the lumps are benign. However, uh, we have to really uh, make uh, uh, investigation and studies to rule out cancer in every abnormality, even if there is no, no lump but uh, some disfiguration or thickening in the breast or uh, oozing from the nipple or uh, some enlargement of one breast that makes it asymmetrical in comparison to the other. So uh, we always uh, like to uh, uh, make the woman aware and that's why we make every year uh, one or two or three campaigns to, uh, uh, to let the woman know uh, how to examine her breast because this is the first thing uh, that she, she should know. She should put her, her hand on her breast. She should uh, really uh, examine her breast once a month uh, after she finishes her period. Uh, and if she uh, has any, uh, if she feels anything abnormal, she should uh, report to her physician. Now, uh, there are no symptoms, particular symptoms to breast cancer. Uh, no pain usually. Uh, so the only thing that is abnormal is uh, having a lump. Now, uh, when she reports to the doctor, now the responsibility of the treating doctor is to examine her. Uh, in the supine position, in the uh, lying position, when she raises her hands and to, so that the breast uh, spreads over the chest wall. Uh, never examine the breast in the sitting position or standing position uh, because we, uh, the breast uh, in sitting position or upright uh, might uh, feel lumpy while on the supine position, uh, lying down position, where it will spread and you really feel a lump if there is one. And uh, he should examine the axillary, the armpits, uh, looking for nodes, the, uh, the neck, and do, of course, a general exam. Then he should order a uh, mammogram, bilateral mammogram, uh, which is uh, really diagnostic for breast cancer in most of the cases, in 85% of cases, it is uh, informative. Uh, we order also ultrasound, and sometimes we resort to uh, uh, magnetic resonance uh, imaging, MRI. Now there is also a new test, which is uh, BMI, uh, breast uh, molecular uh, imaging. Uh, so uh, there are so, and the, also the mammogram uh, is usually digital, uh, either 3D and nowadays there is 4D. So uh, the uh, technological advancement is uh, quite high in uh, in diagnostic uh, facilities. Uh, once we diagnose a breast lump uh, on imaging. Uh, now we have to know, is this lump uh, cystic or solid? Now the ultrasound will uh, make, uh, make us uh, know whether it's cystic or solid. Cystic uh, usually is benign. We can aspirate any cyst in the clinic. But solid uh, mass uh, should be really diagnosed by FNA uh, or core uh, biopsy. Uh, now uh, the, uh, the result will be next day or, uh, or even the first day uh, by doing uh, cytopathology on the uh, fine needle aspiration. And uh, then after the uh, diagnosis of uh, breast cancer by the pathologist, now we come to the second stage of uh, managing this patient. We decide uh, what treatment we will do. We will talk on it uh, next time. Thank you.